In 1940, during the London Blitz, he spent a night in a public shelter in Eaton Square. By 1943, he was both proud of his father Gordon's work for the war effort and had a fractious relationship with him. He felt his father was unreliable and was pressured into indulging his father's model aircraft hobby now James was dead. On a visit to London, he intervened to help a girl escape her minder, suspecting she was unwilling. The two were caught in a German daylight air raid and sheltered in the Apollo Theater. His father was listed as missing in action in 1945, an act that cemented the 16-year-old Alistair's dislike for military service. That same year, his mother insisted that they move from the town, convinced that it was causing all the death in her life. The great intelligence spent some time tugging at their minds, slowly making memories of their hometown unclear and even completely removing James from all of their memories. Alistair promised to keep in touch with Ray, but his broken memory stopped him from writing more than a few letters. He had started to grow close to his brother's old girlfriend Jemima Fleming but the removed memories made him lose touch with her as well. The Lethbridge Stewarts had lived with his mother's sister and her husband, Uncle Tommy, for a brief time before moving on to Coles Hill where his mother spent the rest of her life. Alistair stayed for only a brief time due to school. Even after regaining his memories of Jemima, he liked to remember his first kiss being Imelda Clark from Coles Hill instead. And Holborough, where he first met Teddy Fitzoliver. In school, he learned basic French and some Latin, though dropped the latter at sixth form. He was in the first eleven in a school cricket team, played in a junior rugby team, and almost won the middleweight boxing championships during his last year at Fets. Ironically, given his future occupation, Alistair read science fiction magazines but dismissed alien stories as a load of rubbish.